Hi everyone, welcome to the video. We are this year going to be releasing a series of videos called From the Artisan Paint Bar. So they're just quick fire videos just to show you how to create different finishes, maybe around some coloured waxes. Um, so today we're going to start off the year with how to create a pewter finish. So this is a quick fire video around the Artisan Pewter Metallic Cream um, and how to easily create a pewter metallic finish at home. So I've got here my Clubhouse Grey Premium Chalk Paint, which is what I'm going to be using as a base. And then I've got my Style Mister um, size 18 brush. And all I'm going to do is, firstly, give the paint a quick stir. It's a rich, creamy, easy to stir paint. It's got lots of body to it, loaded with pigments. And then all I'm going to do is do one coat of our premium chalk paint on whatever surface you're painting on. Now this is a previously painted and waxed um, wooden swatch that I'm painting on. Um, our premium chalk paints will stick on to pretty much anything, so varnished wood, uh, glass, veneers, with no sanding or priming required, just a quick little you know, dust down or clean down. So one base coat of Clubhouse Grey um, over a pale colour and you can see that's really good coverage. So all you're going to do is do one coat, leave it to dry. If you can, leave it to dry naturally, but um, for the nature of this video, I'm going to use a hairdryer just to speed things along. Brilliant, so that's nice and dry and like I said, you want to leave this to dry naturally, not speed up with a hairdryer like I have. So I've put my base coat of premium chalk paint on. So the chalk paint is going to stick to whatever surface you're painting, whether it be wood, uh, matte plastic, veneer, and then we're going to place, it's, the chalk paint's creating a beautiful porous surface, and then we're gonna put our pewter metallic cream on top. By applying the chalk paint on, it allows um, you to create a metallic finish virtually pretty much on any surface, and it also helps to intensify the pewter metallic um, as well. So, let's open up the pewter metallic. This is a brand new jar, so you'll be able to kind of see um, a fresh one being opened up. So there's my pewter metallic. Even if it looks really well stirred, um, you need to give it a mix. Sometimes you might see a little separation in the, um, in the pewter metallic, and that's completely normal. But what you want to do is give it a decent stir to combine all the um, metallic pigments together. It's really, really creamy, really lustrous, so you can see. So the pewter finish is so easy to do now. Um, and just beautiful effect. So I'm just going to decant or take some out onto my baking paper. It's really important to kind of not leave the lid open for too long with your metallics keep it nice and fresh and keep the quality, um, you know, nice. So I'm going to take some out like that. It's also really important if you, little tip, um, if you ha have any metallics on the sides to give it a good wipe. Metallic creams are very, very strong and if you have some on the, around the rim of your jar and you close your lid, you may find it a little bit harder to open next time. So that's my metallic, pewter metallic cream. I have my spalter brush here. Now the spalter brush is a really great brush for blending paints, um, but I also really love using it with metallics because it helps to give a beautiful flawless finish. Even for those who, you know, it's the first time, the brush kind of does all the work for you. They're really lovely soft bristles. They really kind of just spread that metallic out really beautifully. So I'm gonna pick some up just a little bit with my um, spalter brush, and then I'm just going to in one direction, brush that out. You can see the metallic cream goes really far. So that was one little dip from that, and I've got my metallic finish. So it's up to you whether you wanna do one or two coats. Um, if you've kind of covered all of your premium chalk paint in one coat, 
then you're pretty much done. So in this case, if I was doing a piece of furniture and I had that coverage, I'm done. Um, so really there's nothing more to it than that. So I'm gonna just leave that to one side and leave it to dry naturally. And then I've pr kind of pre-painted this frame here in Clubhouse. So this has got one coat of Clubhouse Grey Premium Chalk Paint. It's got a little bit of, um, you can see a little bit of the original white here and there, um, but it's pretty much covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my pewter cream again and just brush it out. Metallics will show up really nicely on any pieces or um, decor that has ridges and curves because it will kind of bounce the light and really kind of bring out the beauty of the, the metallics. Just gliding it on, the brush will just help to glide it over. Like so, just use a little bit left on that stick. And then take the pressure off your brush to blend any brush strokes. And you're pretty much done. So you've got your pewter metallic there. So I'm going to leave that to dry as well. Put that to dry on one side as well. And then I wanted to just quickly show you, um, so I've got this glass jar, and we've been using this to do all sorts of things with paint projects, so there's paint and stuff all through it. It's um, so ideal for this little makeover. And I'm going to grab my Clubhouse Grey chalk paint, premium chalk paint, and I'm just gonna paint straight over it. <clears throat> We're gonna do a decorative vase and the premium with a premium chalk paint you don't need to water it down just use it straight as it is we've designed it so it's easy to use and easy to spread so first and second coat you don't need to water it down make sure your brush is dry you don't need a wet brush for our premium chalk paint it's ready to go um, from the time that you kind of open up the tin you just give it a good stir and away you go might just go through and use my pointed tip brush for the neck area. Let's hope I can get the, my hand out of the jar <laughs> and around that rim. And then when you're at home, if you're painting glass like this, leave it to dry naturally. Again, because of the nature of this video, we're gonna dry it with a hairdryer. Kind of drying, I can notice that I've just missed a couple of areas, so I'm just going to touch that up. So just right there around the neck, a little bit there, a little bit in there, probably just from where I've been grabbing it while I've been drying. So I just, just touch it up. So the chalk paint's going to stick to the surface of the glass and allow me to apply my metallic finish over the top of it. So we're all ready to go. So there's my painted jar there, glass jar. And then I'm going to open up my pewter cream again. And because I've stirred it before, I'm just gonna give it a quick stir this time and I'm just gonna decant some out. Always make sure you put your lid on tightly on your metallic creams or with anything from the Meta metallic alchemy range. I'm gonna use my spalter brush, pick up my pewter, and away I go. Nice and easy. And around the neck. And just blend that 
it in. Where am I up to? Oop. It's hard to paint from this angle while we're trying to video it at the same time. Um, And that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna leave that to dry. So here, just in that time, my frame is dry, my wooden swatch is dry. So I'm just gonna leave this to dry on the side and just run you through how I like to finish the metallics. So I've got my pewter cream here and it's looking really lovely, very lustrous. So you can see it reflecting the light really beautifully, this photo frame. But I always like to frame my metallics a little bit with further metallics. So the more, I love metallics with depth and that's what I really love about these metallic creams. There's a lot of depth to it and you can, to, when used together with our premium chalk paints, you can create different depths in the metallic cream depending on what color you put on underneath. Clubhouse Grey is definitely one of my faves. Um, when using the pewter metallic cream. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of um, some the Artisan Silver Metallic Gilding Wax and I'm just going to run that along the edges. So it just kind of creates some highlights, some um, just kind of frames it off, adds a bit of depth to it. So maybe just on the high points there. And it just, I feel like if you do a little bit of gilding on the edges of your metallics and frame it off, it just kind of lifts it a little bit. And always using a gilding that's, you know, one or two shades darker or lighter, or maybe contrasting to the metallic finish that you're doing. So you'll see on the pot stand that we did in the pewter metallic cream, this is what we did to the to the detailing and it just kind of lifts it a little bit. So you can see there, it's still pewter, but it's just giving it a little bit of a lift. And you know, straight away, it's a lovely kind of pewter photo frame that we've created. Almost dry, we might just speed this along. Again, with the, pew uh, um, with the metallic creams, you want to leave it to dry naturally. But for the nature of this video, we're going to um, dry it with a hairdryer. Brilliant. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of silver gilding and just kind of detail and give it further interest around the edges. And so forth and if I wanted to I can even touch some of these high points just to kind of add a little bit more to it just very gently maybe a little bit down the bottom as well around the edge and that's pretty much it so um really easy i mean we have done metallic finishes in the past and i just think that this is such an easy way to achieve what used to be a very very complicated or you know quite a few steps involved in creating this finish so super easy just creating a pewter metallic finish using clubhouse gray um artisan clubhouse gray as a base and then pewter metallic cream over the top with your spalter brush and you can kind of just completely transform something um, that glass jar now looks like a metal jar so it's actually got a little clip here on the head with a little handle so i'll pop that on and take a couple of photos but that's pretty much it guys i mean i wish this video was a lot more involved but it's simply a little bit of clubhouse gray as a base coat onto whatever it is you're painting and then straight on with your pewter metallic cream and you're done.